All right, welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic the Gathering Online by Hasbro Games and Wizards of the Coast in Renton, Washington. Thanks for making that really obvious. You're really obvious. I don't like Blightsteel because it can't go to the graveyard, and there's a lot of graveyard things here. Yeah, so well, the only thing definitely this, not taking Blightsteel. The only thing this guy really works with is like Channel, right? I'm much rather starting like Stoneforge Mystic or Signet. Oh, I like Stoneforge Mystic a lot, actually. I probably like it better than Signet here. What do you think? Yeah, that's all right. I think it's probably one of the better picks in this pack. Demonic Tutor. <clears throat> I love the black, black, blue, black, white decks. Black, black blue, black, black whites. Yeah, black, shut up, black, shut black, up, black, just black, shut black, up. Black, I hate black, you so much. <laughs> There's also a Vindicate in here. Tutor's definitely. Oh, Tinker's good. in the cube, so that could be relevant. Ah, gotcha. What do you guys think? Vindicate or Demonic Tutor? I'll, it's pretty I'll strong. Wait. <laughs> Jay Galvanil, 3333, love you, Pete. I love you too, buddy. Thank you so much, JC. Really appreciate it. Are you guys telling me? Ooze? I don't think it's. I don't even know. What, is there an ooze? What? I don't understand that. What does that mean? DT. Yeah, I think it's DT. Iron Chef Sammy, what are you even talking about, buddy? <laughs> I don't think there's a single ooze. Maybe it was the other pack? Tudor. Yeah, we're just going to go Tudor. Ooh, is it Unburial Rites? What about Dark Confidant? We can just take all the cards that are three or less. It's a little risky. What's risky about that? What if there's a big thing you want? Let me want? tell you something, Michael. What if there's a big thing you want? Greatness at any cost, okay? What if there is a big thing? Then we don't then we just don't play it. What do you want? Alright. I still think it's the best what what do we what do we take instead? On barrel rights? Probably. Really? Really. Really. Is it Dark Confidant? Is it Umbero Rights? Is it Dark... Is it Razaketh the Foul-Blooded? The guy Demonic Tutor, right? Can uh, yeah, you sack, it, sack a dude and pay two. It's... uh Yeah, it puts it in your hand. I don't think it's that guy. And it's an 8-8 Flying Tramplerino. I'm going to take the Dark Confidant. Oh, scary. Bounce is a weird card. What about Legion's Landing? Super aggro? Yeah, it's another one-mana spell. Flips into a land. I like that. I bet we get one of like one of this, 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 or this back, and I think they'll, all those are decent for our deck. Yeah, balance is a weird card in my table. Balance is so hard to play. Mm -hmm. Is there? Where is the signet? Did, are Are you just like a pack behind Iron Chef, Sammy? Probably. I think it's Legion's Landing because I just want to try this out, and I think it goes well with this archetype. I hope they don't have the black enchantment in this one. That one's so bad. I don't think they would. Blood feast of Ar Arguel's blood feast or whatever. Yeah, it's just like greed. Could with also be Kalidus. I like Kalidus a lot too. Kalidus, go get your brother, Billy Bob. <laughs> Kalidus, what are you doing? I want to take that. Oh, Brimaz. Oh, Honor of the Pure. Brimaz oh. is definitely better. All right. I think you're right. I don't like that you're right, but I think you're right. I don't think this is a recurring nightmare deck. I do like nah. big brims, though. Just the king of the cats. Ooh, anguished on making. It's like a poor man's vindicate. I wish we had a Yogmoss will deck. Oblivion Ring? Oblivion Ring is probably better than Selfless Spirit, right? Yes. This gets rid of but everything. I think Anguish on making is just as good. Really? You take three damage, though? You lose three? Yeah, but you can't kill it. Right, but like... I don't know. What do you guys think? Anguished on making or Oblivion Ring? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. This is going to be a a chat-centric stream where I, I give you guys the option to uh, to influence our picks. Eight seconds. You better hurry. Unmaking, huh? O-ring. I'm just going to go O-ring. It was 50-50, so I just went with the card I liked because I don't even care. Well, it's way more oh, than okay. Now. now it was three O-rings. Oh, three, two. Three life definitely matters in this cube. Land tax. I like land tax. 
Yeah, it's all right. I think it's very good. It's all right. I think it's very good. Well, you're welcome to have your wrong opinion. I think it's very good. I just think it's not as insane as people think. I don't know if there's a super delay in the stream versus the chat. I think if you guys uh, refresh, this, the delay is, is better. I think there's actually only like a six second delay, so... I think I tested this out recently. Oh, Concealed Courtyard. Okay. Yes, it's really the only pick. Grim Tutor. Meh. Timely Reinforcements. Actually, Timely Reinforcements is a pretty good cyborg card. Yeah, but I'm not sure that I take it to land. Oh, the Signet came back? That's interesting. Please. I think that's definitely the pick. I like Murderous Cut, but I like Signet a lot better. Oh, Kite Sail Freebooter's good. Side. Oh, Vindicate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Vindicate. I didn't even. I was like, oh, dang. It's like I didn't even. Uh... I didn't even. I didn't even think. Because I, I didn't even consider this would come back. This might be a Kithian deck. I feel like it's a Parallax. <sighs> Alright, fine. Oh! Oh! I, that's oh, actually that's... what I wanted. Maybe. We don't know what the other picks were. Well, this is one of the cards I wanted to be... Oh, Anger and Megan comes back too, so... I guess it doesn't matter. I can see your guys' messages immediately. He won't even see this message for a while. <clears throat> I'm like a pick or two behind right now. I think the delay is like, what, 30 seconds? It's definitely not 30 seconds. I thought that was a standard. No, we figured out it was like six or seven for freshly brewed, but. Yeah, I counted it out. It's a six second after refresh. That's 100%. Yeah, that's it. It's definitely not too long. So if you guys are getting any more than that, um, I think it's just refreshing would help. Come on, power. Nothing. Literal nothing. It's fact's not that great for us. I like a him to Torok. Mother of Runes. I definitely take Mother over him. All day. You're watching from your parents' house? Nerd. <laughs> How rude. I think it is Mother. Hopefully him tables. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm going to take Angus and making out because you have Oring and Vindicate. Oh, okay. Sure. That's cool. Nice. Wow, that's great. I hope this Archangel of Thune comes back. Oh man, Mind Twist? Yes, and a Signet? This deck's looking gassy. Like hot fats. Hot. Gross. Okay. Remember the time we got Stoneforge Mystic, but we have no... Uh... Yet. David, you would take Angel over Mind Twist? There's no way that's right. <clears throat> I think you need to go <clears throat> get some counseling of some sort, my friend. Because <clears throat> that is not a sane answer. Every day I do. What do, what do I do? I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> net neutrality, yeah. Sorry, guys. Now that there's no more net neutrality... Um, your, your ISPs are favoring people like Day9 and Brian Kibler over me, so, uh, you know, my my stream is going to get throttled. Grave Tights. Oh, oh, oh. That's a target for Stoneforge Mystic. That is. Yeah, also I think. one of the best ones. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it was always just a... Wasn't it always, like, criminally underrated in cube? Like, everyone would be passing it, and then would st it would still just crush whenever we drew it? Seems like it. You seem like it. Seem like what? Uh, stupid Mitch. Wow. My ISPs are... Psh, I favor... Wow. Wow. It, it hurts. I'm not even mad, Chris. I'm just disappointed. You think a dude's your best friend. Mike B is watching from his dad's house. <laughs> oh, the memes are... 
Do you just do you want to be you want to be hurt again? <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been hurt before. God, this pack is great though. Leovold control magic. Yeah, for other colors. <laughs> right. Yeah, not for us. But like, I mean, it's either dismember or mana mana crypt, right? And mana crypt seems pretty good. It's not bad. Do you remember the vintage? Didn't we get this in Vintage Masters though? And it just wasn't that great. Yes. Like. It would just kill us because, like, you don't have a, really a lot of cards to take advantage of it. I don't even think I well, like it. I mean, it. it's pretty good with Mind Twist. Sure, but then that's it. Then they just kill you every turn after that. I can even see Demir Signet. Like, Signet's almost just better than Mana Crypt, right? Depends. Like, unless you're Storming, I think it's just not that great. Or I can even our take Dismember. I kind of like Dismember. So, Mana Crypt isn't that great. Gaia's Cradle. Oof. That's pretty ridiculous. Exile card from a graveyard. If you know cards in the graveyard, flip him. And then he's a 4-2. Put a creature card from a graveyard out of the battlefield under control. I don't hate Nizumi Grave, Bar Grave Robber. It's a lot of work. Um. It is a lot of work, actually. But it is just an aggressive creature. Which we kind of want. I also don't hate Sorcerer Spyglass. Mm -hmm. It does shut off things like Jace. Angel of Sanctions also pretty good, but easy to kill and five mana with a Dark Confidant is not great. I, I'm not going to take Geist because we have no blue sources. I want to just take Spyglass. I think Spyglass is fine. Wow. Oh, Tidal the Scholar is pretty good. Yeah. That's a, that's a good gentleman. I would not mind another equipment at some point. Preferably sort of body and mind, or... Alright. Or what was the other... What's the other good one? Swap. I don't think Swap is that good. Sofop. Oh my god. Sofop. Feast and Famine. No, I think I think Ice and Fire and Ice is right. This is the better one, right? It's, it's up there. I think it's like top two. <coughs> Batter Skull's a good one too. That's a good sword. It's a real good sword. Bitter Blossom and a Vampire Night Hockey? It's gotta be Blossom, right? Yeah, I think Blossom is a little better. Especially with Legion's Landing and Kithian. And Jitte. Yeah, definitely Bitter Blossom. That's pretty good, though. That's a real that's a real late Bitter Blossom, dude. That's a real late Bitter Blossom, it is. You like that voice that I just did? No, it's terrible. You don't like it? No. I do not like it, Governor. Rude. Were you born this rude? Probably. Saturday. I think it's definitely. also a Ravagers of War. Um, this is a Ravagers of War deck. Uh, I definitely think so. You do? Yeah, we're like aggressive. <clears throat> Play a couple dudes, blow up all lands, win the game. What do you guys think? Is it him to Torak or Ravages of War? I, you're probably not going to have time to answer. I took Ravages. Oh, Archangel comes back. And Ophiomancer. What do you think? Archangel? Ar I think Archangel is stronger. <clears throat> I think Ophiomancer is probably better for our curve. Yeah. You put that Ravages in the main board, you son of a Mitch. What's the main board? Main deck. Whatever. Oh, a main deck. Okay. I thought we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a second. Are they bunch. called main decks in Yu-Gi-Oh? They're called main, main boards. Main boards. Which is what it's not called in Magic. Well, then I'll just go play Yu-Gi-Oh. Go. Wow. <clears throat> wow. That's pretty interesting. Okay. I actually don't hate Archangel of San Sanctions. Alright, so here we're going to open... Uh, what do you want to open? Mox Jet? Mox Pearl? <coughs> Ancestral, so we can find a way to splash it. The worst one. Okay. <laughs> sort of fine ice, though. Yeah, I'll just take the sword and be fine with it, I guess. Typical. Oh, just typical. 
Yeah, this is fine. Oh, okay, I guess we get both of them. It's a late tinker. Second pick, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the second most early it could be, I think. Yeah, so it's late. These are the two swords we want. Wow, these are both the swords that I mentioned. I was like, hey, I hope we can get Sword Body Mine. Or, you know, what's the other going on Sword of Fire Nice? Yeah, okay, cool. And then we got both of those. That's cool. Stoneforge Mystic just got real good. I didn't know how to defend. You're just awkwardly awkward. That's my life. Cryptic Command. More like Schmiptic Command. Is it more like Schmiptic Command? Yeah. So we have Angel, mm -hmm. and we have Odonto Vanguard. Vanguard's better for the aggro deck. Vanguard's actually pretty insane with, like, if you put a sword or a, uh, and it was always Jitsi on it, it's just an indestructible creature. Yeah. It might be Vanguard. I think we do want more two drops, because we only have one... Three creatures. I think it's Vanguard. Yeah. I also don't want more five drops when we have Dark Demonic Tutor. This pack's kind of... There's so many, so many Rat Rogues. They discard, and then they, if they have no cards, you flip it. It's even good here. Unexpectedly absence fine, I guess. It's not eight. I mean it is what like what are, what are you what are you, is there something better that you want to take? No, this pack's pretty bad. Rab I'm not uh, a big priest Rabobra fan. Okay. We also have Oblivion Ring and Vindicate and Anguished on making in the sideboard and Dismember. Like we have a ton of removal right now. I think unexpectedly absence good. Because it deals with uh like everything. These packs are weird. They have, like, decent cards, but just not for our archetype. I guess it's just Linvala, because she's pretty versatile. It's definitely not Abyss. It's definitely not Lodestone Golem. Enlightened Tutor. I guess Enlightened Tutor can get one of these. Nah. Or an Oblivion Ring, or a Bitter Blossom. I still don't think that's great, though. I'm just taking Linvala. Mind Slaver. Ultimate Price. Flicker Wisp? This isn't really a Flicker Wisp deck. No. But I almost feel like we want more creatures. We only have 11 creatures. Technically I have 12 because of landing. And Bitter Blossom is kind of 13. I think Flicker Wisp is pretty aggressive. I do like Flicker Wisp. I think it's, I think it's versatile. Wow, another sword. Ooh, Kitchen Finks? Yeah. It's not Recruiter of the Guard, right? Toughness 2 or less. That's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. Hmm, maybe it's Recruiter of the Guard. I'll do it. You like Kitchen Finks with both Flicker Wisp? Actually, I like Recruiter with Flicker Wisp too. I mean, there's nothing we're getting that's that great to get. Really? Like it's real versatile. Like Bone Shredder, we can get Stone Forge, and which also gets us any any equipment. Yeah, maybe. Flicker Wisp lets us out. blink something like Bone Shredder. I think it's actually Recruiter here. Ooh, Hero of Blade Old. That's really good. Yeah, that is pretty good. It's like what we were missing. Some finishing power. Finishing power? Yeah. Hi, Billy May is here. <laughs> we don't like we don't like Revelark? No. Really? Getting like two dudes? Hero right? is so insane. It just kills them. You don't even Is it Revelark else. or Flick or Hero, guys? Revelark or Hero. Hero just ends games. You just end games. Yeah, when I attack with Hero of Blade Hold. Fine. Fine. Take a, I'll take a Banishing Light. I'm not going to play Hypnotic. Spectral. Is Hypnotic Spectre better than Spectral Procession? I don't think so. Easier to cast. What up, Turn 1 Blood Moon? Easier to cast? Yeah. What, the Spectre? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I also think it's stronger. We could play Fiend Hunter. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
I don't think we're going to play the main deck because we already have to make like three cuts. With land tax, this is actually a 20. This is a 16 land deck. With land tax. I just want to put that Ravages in here. It's so good. Is it so good? Yeah. It's oh. great. I can't wait for people to watch us eat pizza on stream. I think Short Fang is probably fine. Tinker Wheel, because no one really has a Tinker deck, probably. We're playing fair, but actually this deck, the, the black-white deck, I've always had pretty good luck with. Pretty good results. Oh, ultimate price. That was a nice little that's a nice little present. Death right, Shammy. <clears throat> Billy Mays here with another amazing product. Did you like that Billy Mays impression I did? Yeah, it's alright. I think our pizza might be here. Wow, that's really fast if it is. I'd be impressed. I would go check for 400. Yeah, go. Go, run. Go. Go now. Hunter, come here. Hunter, come here. Come here. All right, Hunter might go crazy for a minute, guys. All right, let's sort these by group creatures separately so we can see what we actually have. This is a lot of... I think we might actually have one too many equipment. I don't think we want three. So I think sort of body and mind is better. I think we also have to cut one of these creatures. I like Bone Shredder because, especially because we can search for it with Recruiter. Bitter Blossom is basically a two-drop creature. I don't know if we want Orzhov Signet. <laughs> you son of a bitch! All right, I'm gonna do it because Mike would probably want. It. Mike would. I think we can cut one of our four drops. Probably a Miri Angel. I think Kalidus is great. Hero of Bladehold is great. I think we can cut one more card. Um, I thought I knew what it was, and then I lost it. Oh, probably Orzov's Signet. Alright, pizza achieved. Alright, pizza's achieved. I don't think we need a Signet in this deck. I think we just do 16 lands with land tax. Because any hand, if you draw a land tax instead of a land, it's just like drawing a land, right? Yeah. And I also cut, uh, I cut one of the swords because I don't think we need three equipments. And I cut the one creature I cut was the Amira Angel, over here. Fire and Ice is better than Body Mind. Really? This mills them. Yeah, but like the protection for blue and red seems more relevant. I mean, who cares? <laughs> I got mom, dude. You know about my mom? No, I don't know about your mom. I think milling them is, is better. 16 lands seems fine. Plus it, it gives us more low. bodies, dude. All well, the bodies to the floor. Yeah, I don't think we need the Signet and the land tax, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to add 9 and 6. Let's go 8, 7. 16 lands. Let's not group. No, no. Group combined groups. There we go. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. I think we're going to have a good time. Having a good time. That's what you think. Until we get crushed by, like, turn one soul ring Mox, Jace of the Mind Sculpt. And I'm like, well, my deck's way too fair for all that nonsense. So. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, I've always played casual. I've never been in the Pro Tour grind. Like, that was never my style. I just played events every so often, and uh, I ended up top eating a GP with qualified for Pro Tour, and then I ended up top eating that Pro Tour. So that was the extent of it, though. Like I think I've gone to maybe I don't know, probably like 
20 GPs in my entire life. Like, I'm just not a big competitive player. It's not where I get my... It's not where I derive my satisfaction from. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if I can leave because of the because of the stream, but if you want to go grab us some pizza, you can do that. I can do that. All right, cool. Try not to mess it up, though. I know. I'll try to play slow until you get back. Oh, this hand is great. Definitely keeping this bad boy. Legion's landing into Stoneforge into, like, Jitte would be great. Watch, we're just gonna draw the Jitte, because Magic's like, hey man, I heard you say Jitte. Oh, that's actually... That's probably better here. <laughs> oh, that's real good. Better play a land... It's like, I'd be like, well, are they not playing a land? That's hilarious. Legion's landing. Oh my god, if you had to have all the water you encounter in the rest of your life be one temperature, what would you pick and why? This includes showers, rain, drinks, etc. That's terrible. Because I'd want cold drinks, but I'd want warm showers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think we actually just get one land here. So we go up to seven, we're going to play one, go down to six. We're going to play Stoneforge going on to five. We also get to draw for the turn. Yeah, I don't want to go crazy. Well, that's actually probably better. There you go. Yeah, Nazumi Shortfang is not very scary when... Uh, is it just for me? Yeah. Did you, only get, like, did you only get one at a time? Well, yeah, because I would drink, so I can't really carry all that. Oh. Whatever, man. I don't need your sass. Let's see what your hand is. I'm going to be eating a pizza, guys, so... <clears throat> If you guys are watching on YouTube, just be prepared. You have to name your body temperature or else you die. <laughs> oh. I choose boiling. Oh, wow. Jitte, Necromancy, Mind Twist. Mind Twist I actually don't care about when you have this much mana. Go for the Throat doesn't kill our Tide Hollow Skeller. It's definitely Jitte here, right? Oh, we have actually Oblivion Ring and Vindicate. It might just be Mind Twist. Yeah, that seems okay. This is a 1-1? One, one? Sure. Do it. Do it. I wonder how this is. I pulled the mic away, so it's not as bad. Oh, I actually did nothing in particular to prayer. Oh, and that's not true. The prayer where I did well, and I did a ton of Oath of the Gatewatch drafts. Um, which is why I 6-0'd the draft portion. Like, I was incredibly prepared. I was I was uh, aware of what strategy I liked and which, what strategy I was comfortable with going in. So that was cool. Um, but as far as, like, the, the constructed portion, I literally just picked a deck the night before. Because I had no... It was modern. I had no idea what I wanted, so... Alright, so they played a Swamp Arena. This is their hand. We played Tide Hell Sculler, and uh, now they're going to play Jitte, and we're going to get to Oblivion Ring it, or Vindicate it. Probably Oblivion Ring it. And we have a land tax out. Seems good. Uh, 
All right. No, Mike gave me like a plate. I got like two pieces of pizza and two breadsticks. He did good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to play two. Put just down to four. Uh, so we can draw two lands here and be okay with it. Oh, I clicked on two, but I guess we only get one. And my opponent's probably like, you know, you can get two lands with it, right, dummy? And I'm like, oh, I guess I didn't know. Yeah, should have got another one there, but. Kind of pizza is deep dish from Hungry Howie's. It's pretty good. It's no bait. Well, this is a pretty fine situation. We're next time we either play Stoneforge and get a sword or play Jitte and equip it. Seems good. Friend of pigs is... Oh, you're making me discard? Swamp deal. Do you play island? Yes. Okay. So you don't even go for the throat in necromancy. Go for the throat doesn't kill Tide Hollow Scholar, which is great. Ooh, that crust is real good. Nice and charred. Yeah. Well, now we're probably getting three lands. Oh, interesting. I guess they just go for the throat that, though, so not really. I, too, have a uh, Umazawa Jite. <coughs> I'm going to put on the creature you can't go for the throat. Oh, I guess that's the end of the game. Hooray. <coughs> <clears throat> this is called Two Guys Coughing While They Eat Pizza Stream. So that's cool. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, I definitely derive satisfaction from pizza. Oh. Look at this crispy, this like crispy deep dish bite. Ooh! That's good stuff. You're a Swiss chard. Get some more of that good stuff. Wow. You, you're a monster. For those who want to see the up closeness of it, this is what this is what we're this is what we're working with here. With that crispy crust. Look at that beauty. So Oh, Crystal Chod. Why'd you put a space between L and poor? Why'd you capitalize the P in my last name? I will keep this hand. Hmm. They let us play first? Okay, that's cool. My last name is not French, no. 
I am not French. Are you sure? Oh, you thought my last... Oh, because it's le poor. You thought it was French for the poor. <laughs> I've never... That's, I never heard that before. That's a good one. That is a good one. Spoiler, I have heard that one. Let me know when you need pizza refill. I'm waiting for my opponent. Look at this. Look at this crispness that just fell off the crust. Ooh, it's a good one. This is surprisingly good for Hungry Howie's. I'm impressed. I'm going to see if Hungry Howie's can sponsor my stream. For YouTube, when you add the pizza and replace it with porgs from Star Wars, um, physically, prob it can probably be done. I don't know if I have the digital editing prowess to do that. But I imagine it's possible, sure. We can't have six when we play this guy because because then if they try to kill it, oh oh, I like turn three hypnotic specter, turn four jet equip. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Me too. Me too. Here we go. Oh, that charred bit was every 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 bit as good as I wanted it to be. Oh, that's sad. Did it make your dreams come true? Yeah. Garlic butter crust is on point. Figured you take the Jitte. That's a pretty easy choice. This pizza is just from Hungry Howie's. Just from Hungry Howie's. <laughs> Today my friend gave me his EpiPen as he was dying. It seemed very important to, have it to him that I have it. Three one. Oof. Well, it's a good one to keep, I guess. Mm. 
Okay, we're getting there. Now we get to make you discard a card at random. So much random discard in this format. Oh, Vraska. So I guess our opponent is just playing the same <laughs> deck we played last game. Yeah. And by last game, I mean last draft. So. What happened to their mind to us? They used it. They oh. cast it on us. You don't know how Mind Twist works, bro? No. That's sad. That is one short fang. If we get a land, it's real good because then we can actually just play this. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just going to make us discard it, which is real sad. Oh, get in there. That's what we wanted to see. Are you blowing up? Are you exploding? Yeah. That's sad. <coughs> you just take five again here and go to... Go to yeah, okay. Deal. Feels like we're in good shape here. When I'm on a house and I see things that look like bright beams of light and I hear things that sound like car horns. Well, all right. Well. So you're doing acid and going to the street and getting honked at. One a game. All right, give me one second. I'm going to go grab a drink and I'm going to get a pizza refill and I'll be right mm -hmm. back and we can finish this draft. So don't go anywhere and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I have returned. You guys are probably like, oh my god, he just keeps leaving and eating his food on the stream. And I'm like, well, if you guys want me to stream, that's what's going to happen. Let's jump on into another recusal. Another recusal. Too topical? They're switching it up to Crystal Light. Oh, yeah, because I, I, I just get whatever drink mix is on sale at the time. Crystal Lights were two for one, so I was like, that'll do. Eat it on the mix. Crystal light. Is that a, what is that you just did? That's their slogan. What is it? Get in on the mix. Get in on the mix? Yeah. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. 100%. I wasn't. Man, you're a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> 
got me, I guess. Oh, this hand would be something else if we had more than one land in it. Preferably a plains. This hand's great, though. Pretty good. I don't think you asked for a better six. What if we search for... What if we tutor for a Ravages? And then we just go Legion's Landing, Burma's Ravages. That seems good. I guess it depends on what they do, but... They're probably just going to lose, so... Just pretty hard to beat. <coughs> what did we miss? What did I... Did you guys... Did anything cool happen while I was gone? I'll keep... No, I'm not mulling this to five. What, are you crazy? And we get to scry, dude? Oh, my God. All right. Keep it on top. Game on! <clears throat> now you can search for whatever you want. We can search for a land tax to, to heal from our ravages. And dipping cheesy garlic bread in butter is just something else. Yeah, it's something... <clears throat> something else, all right. It's also pretty easy to flip this with Brimaz. It's pretty easy to flip you with Brimaz. Oh, well. How dare you. I guess we don't get Brimaz. Oh, they don't know we're going to get Ravages, though. Oh. Okay. To be fair, that gets anything. That's kind of scary. Yeah. I don't blame them. Bramaz is uh, pretty vulnerable. Vulnerable? Yeah. Oh my god, Case. You're pretty vulnerable. It's okay, though. As a human being, that is correct. I am Michael, friend bot, human being. See, that's the that's the trick case. I only try to look like your human friend, Frank. I'm the AI known as Beck, though. Our opponent's really taking their time. Good thing I got this pizza to hold me over. While we wait. The classic pizza holdover. Hunter's like, yeah, I know I just ate, but I could eat again. Give me that pizza. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. Dude, that crispy crust is like... What? This is an interesting main, main first main phase brainstorm. I'm pretty sure you knew that that was a real guy back there, you trickster. <coughs> like, if they play no creatures... Is this two Soul Tide decks in a row? It's an Ashiok. It's always an Ashiok. You ready? I'd be fine with that. Okay. Oh, mind Twist. Well, that's, that's... So our last round opponent had Mind Twist and Soul Tide, and this round opponent has Mind Twist and Soul Tide. <clears throat> so that's cool. Well, can't cast that guy. We do get to flip our thing. No, we don't. It doesn't work that way? No, because we didn't announce three attackers. Oh, okay. What up, Mono Blue? <clears throat> Man, so lucky. Reanimate Archangel of Tune, sure. Seems good. Oh, it's on my side. Oh, okay, you get it. Cool. It was not as cool. It's a 2 4. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty good, I guess. What the can we get? The uh, Vanguard Bone Shredder will do the trick. Yep. 
Wait. Wait. Does that work? Return it to the battlefield under armor's control. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Do we just flip? Like, just run away their guys? Well, because they're going to gain two, but we're going to deal three. Yeah, this seems better. Like, they do get a, they do get a counter on Archangel of Thune, which is fine, but we do get to flip this, which is just better. And we gain a life as well. Yeah, Flicker Whist is pretty insane. Case, whenever I have Bone Shredder, I can't not say Bone Shredder's ready. Bone Shredder's ready! Every time. Here they go, they're going to hit him to Torok us. You ready? I got two cards, and we know one is a Flicker Whist. Boom, get it ready. Um, no blocks, because I can't. Oh, I don't... This is... This is interesting. What do we do here? <clears throat> Counterspells are a thing. Well, we're just going to attack here. I mean, how many can they have for one blue, though? Like, just Mana Leak? I think we can just actually play yeah. this guy first. Oh, they let it resolve, so... Oh, wow. One, two, three, four... Wow. Massacre Worm... Yes, please. Yeah, that would wreck us. Yeah. That would be absolutely terrible. That'll do. All right. Okay. Sweet. After mind twisting and inquisitioning us. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, If they're going to be animating deading, <clears throat> I feel like I like Fiend Hunter or Angel of Sanctions. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, they're all right. Actually, Anguished on Making just gets, r gets rid of... Uh, Lots of things. Well, the animate. It gets rid of the animate. Dead. Dead, yeah. They probably bring that in. Hey, to Mulligan. So sorry, buddy. I'm glad you made it, though. What'd you say? I said Anguished on Making is definitely worth it. If you get rid of the animate dead, does the creature die? Is that one of the stipulations? I, I think it so. is. Yeah. Pretty sure that's how that works. I mean, in that case, I almost like Fiend Hunter better because then you can exile your own creature <clears throat> and then potentially get it back. Why not both? Well, because I don't really think we have that many bad cards to take out. I think Bone Shredder for Fiend Hunter is probably fine. Or, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Oh, uh, I think Body and Mind is better than Fire and Ice, yes. I think four hits... Actually, like, three hits and you win the game. It's a little awkward when they're trying to reanimate stuff. Ooh, this is nice. This hand is... It's a keeper. This hand's a spicy meatball, if I ever saw one. <clears throat> okay, well, there's both equipments. Um, I guess it's Mom first. Oh, hello, sweetie. I'm just having a little tea. Is that what you think she says? I, that's what I know she says. Okay. Oh, they just dismembered her. Wow. Very ag... Oh, that was a good draw. Very aggressive. Always with the chick, chick, chick. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How does he eat? Liar. <laughs> oh, boy. Water sports true. I'm going to attack you for two damage. What will you do? Do we play Sword of Body Mind or do we play Legion's Landing and Jitte? I like that. Jitte and the, yeah. the two? Two cards? Dismembered Mom. Savage. Yeah, that is pretty savage, actually. They just dismembered my mother! Or we can play land tax because we don't actually have a third land. That is true. And then next turn we can just go... Uh... Let's play land tax, Jit. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And my third... I think I said third land. I meant fourth land. Well, I think they're thinking... Oh, no counter. All right. <coughs> Always with the Jit in Tomb... 
Well, that's troubling. I hope they get like a 15 mana Emrakul and then it just shuffles itself back in. I don't think that's going to happen. But what if, Michael? I guess anything's possible. Wow, they're really taking their time too. They're like, I don't know what to get. I have so many options. I'll get a Massacre Worm to kill your Dark Confantio. Grave Titan, that's a good one. That was definitely a good one. Hmm. I am uncomfortable. I'm I'm more comfortable now. Plus we're back. I mean pretty sure we just do this. And attack you. And I know you're going to have a thing, but that's fine. Oh, wait. What? You didn't have anything? What? I don't understand. What's happening right now? Missing a land drop, maybe? Well, definitely. They missed two land drops. But had I known that, I would have actually just... I'm just going to vindicate one of their things now. What in the earth? Oh, look at this. Look how good light. Look how good things are. Can we just pump the the darky? Maybe just once. For 5, we can actually deal 7. No, we just do set. No, we just do 7. Because then it puts them on two turn clock. Man, Vindicate killing lands is just not a fair thing to have happen. Next time we can sort of body mind and equip it. But there is not going to be a next time. Alright. We're 4 0 with this deck right now. Surprisingly, the fair deck sometimes does be good. Well, there's just so much disruption in the black white deck that it's like. It's just good. It's good, it's good. It's good. Dan Bopes, what's going on, buddy? There's something funny to me about Dan Bopes posting, and then the the next, the very next post is an MTG Bob post. Yeah, that's good. I will keep this hand. Um, I think this is good enough to keep, especially with a bitter blossom. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, you kind of did, but maybe not that particular time. I did not do it. I did not. I just used Emrakul to mind twist an opponent for his entire hand with his own mind twist. Wow, that's gas. Jeez. I always, I just always yielded to Bitter Blossom, and I don't know if that's safe or not. I think it's fine. Well, because like there's things like if I want to respond to it, I don't think I have that many things to respond to it with. But noob noob, thank you so much for uh, both watching me on YouTube and like coming to the stream because of that. That is pretty awesome. Did we get a? Did we get a host? Did we get a relevant host at at some point? Because we just jumped up to like 300 viewers. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise anybody. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. That's annoying. That is annoying. I did not. Do we just get Jitte so we can play it this turn, or do we just get Sword? Um, what's going to be more relevant? I don't know. Probably Jitte. Actually, if we get Sword, we can play Kithian this turn. Let's do that. And next turn we can still put sword into play and uh I learned so much I had hundred children and forced them to watch your stream. I assume two others are the same. That makes sense. I can uh I can see that being the case. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Seems legit. <clears throat> Scroll rack. Oh god. Terminus and uh, what's that? What's that angel card called? Entreat, Entreat the angels. Incoming. I'm number thirty-eight of one hundred. <laughs> it's good to see all these children coming to the stream finally. He said creepily. Wow, this is an interesting. Uh, this is interesting, what you're doing right here. Okay. Yeah, that attack seemed pretty whack. Yeah, I was like, you're going to do some shenanigans, I bet. What does that do? Whatever you want. <laughs> we could also just attack with Kithian and then give him Indestructible. Yeah. We could Demonic Tutor for a land, play the land, <clears throat> and then give Kithian Indestructible. Which I think is probably good because then it sets us up to play Archangel of Thune. Which seems a little weird, I'll be honest with you, but I think it's actually correct. I did not. Oh, is that just gonna? Is he just gonna flip? Oh my god, that's great. Uh, attacks, getting battle forge under control uh, until the target creature is indestructible. Untap that creature. Deal. Up to one target creature and opponent controls attacks Gideon during its controller's next turn if able. That doesn't seem great. I'd rather just make an indestructible fairy rogue, fairy rouge. Here we go. You ready? It's pretty cool that Demonic Tutor has basic land cycling. I agree. That's my favorite function of Demonic Tutor. <clears throat> if I couldn't get a basic land with Demonic Tutor, I don't even want to play it. I am a child and I can confirm I'm being forced to watch this with my 99 brethren. Oh my god. <clears throat> amazing. Just amazing. Amazing. So amazing. <clears throat> Dan Bobs, how does it feel to have like the absolute best and most uncontested magic bot there is? It's got to be cool to create something like that and then just have, like, literal no competition that does anything even close to it. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's it? What? Please. That's what you got? Show me what you got. Look, we would have got a land anyway. <clears throat> okay, so hold on. What does this guy do? We can actually force the Restoration Angel to attack Gideon. And by doing so, our sort of body and mind... Oh, actually, we can just block with Archangel of Thune. That seems pretty kooky. Indifferent. <laughs> a lot of work went into it. Hard to duplicate. All right. Well, I can. All right. Well, either way, it's a wonderful product, and I'm glad to have you around. Animate and equip Gideon? I guess that could have been good. Too late. But then they just block. I don't know. Whatever. I would rather just have them throw their Restoration Angel into our Archangel of Thune. However, problem. Well, no, that's still fine. I think that's okay. And we're going to play land because that's how we do. Show me what you got. Also, if they attack with Restoration Angel, we block with Archangel of Thune. Uh, all our board gets plus one, plus one. So that's pretty cool. Seems good. 
It seems G O O D, as the kids say. Seems goo. I had a D. There was a D there. No, I just wanted to say seems goo. Collateral man, what's going on? Mm. Yeah, I definitely think we we kill the uh we kill the angel. I, oh. I wish Archangel had seen that first strike. That would be great. That would be pretty good. Oh, they're Oh, do they have a combat trick? Oh, okay. I think they realized that oh, we can't kill the Archangel of Thune, so they have to day of judgment here, right? That'd be pretty good. Yeah, we still have Bitter Blossom and Gideon and Sword. So, like, I don't even think that's that good. We just activate Gideon. Attack them for six, make a 2-2, two -two, and mill them for ten. Oh, that seems okay. That's a that's a reasonable recovery. Right. What do you think of Night Sky Mimic? I don't really have any opinions on Night Sky Mimic, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what that is. It's a real weird... It's a weirdo. It's a real weirdo. It's a creepy, ever even tied weirdo. All right, here we go. Supreme verdict. Yep. To the surprise of no one. So we actually lost. They lost Resto, Dragon Lord, and Wrath. We lost Hypnotic Specter, Archangel, Stoneforge. But Stoneforge drew us a card. So, you know, that's kind of cool. And he's indestructible? Come on. Oh, uh, source of plowshares. That would do it. Mm, Path Texo. <clears throat> well, they're waiting. There's no situation where we get to play another card or re equip this, so I just F6 here. Night Sky Mimic. Uh, white, black. 2 1. Whenever you cast a spell that's both white and black, it gets it turns into a 4 4 flyer. Okay. Those are all weirdos. They just gushed? Like just in middle of turn just randomly returned to gush? Yeah. That's interesting. I guess they can put those islands back and draw them. That's actually I mean this is a lot of cards they're looking at. But now you have two mana to work with to do something about this Gideon, which is not a ton. And we good. What did we hit? Council's Judgment, a Soul Ring, because they always have it. Parallax Wave, Timely Timely Reinforcements in the main deck is interesting. I mean, for control decks, it makes sense. Does it? Yeah. Does it? Yes. Why are you getting like this? I can't handle you when you're like this. I don't want to be friends anymore. Good. It's finally. <clears throat> like, you were so miserable in this friendship, yet you didn't do anything. You're like, I'll just ride it out. Yeah, ride it out. I'll yeah. wait for him to do you it. You never know. It's like those relationships where you're like, I'll just wait for them to, bla to break up with me. When you only have one blue and five lands, I don't know if you want to mill those two islands away. That seems like a... That's a lot of lands. <clears throat> should I and can I report someone who rage quits and makes me sit through ten minutes of the timer? Um, Yes, you should and yes, you can. I do the same thing, especially when it's very obvious that they did it in response to like you having lethal or in response to you playing a card they can't beat. Um, there's situations where it's like, oh, if you've had spotty connection issues the whole time, yeah, maybe it's possible you just did it accidentally, but there's definitely times where it's obvious that the person is doing that deliberately. And the thing is like, I think if it happens enough, uh, wizards will actually step in and like, you know, because like that's all like it goes, it, it all gets recorded. Right. So if there's enough, oh wow. You go mana vault into gilded Lotus. And now you have five mana. But you have five mana to begin with. Okay. But you already played a land this turn, right? Draws with Gush. I don't think so. No, they didn't. Maybe they don't have a land. Oh, they got a flooded Ooh. strand. And land. 
I mean, fetch. What did you say? First is a dual land. Oh, okay. I was like, what did you just say? What did you just say to me? How dare you? I like that we can make a mirror angel attack and we can just block with a fairy rogue. With a sort of body mind on it. That's my mom. Pretty good draw. Um... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess we just. I guess we attack with Gideon again. No, we're gonna make we're gonna make this attack. You know, you're you dot you don't have a thing. And by a thing, yeah, I mean you can't attack this turn. That's what I'm saying. You got you guys know what's going on. So you're hundred percent gonna block with the bird, because that's just how you do. That is how they do. And that's, see, I told you. That's just how they do. You can attack my Gideon Battle Forged. Forged in battle. We're going to Mother of Runes here. Because that's my mom. Because that's my mom. You're talking to my guy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. Do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. That's my mom. Here we go. Here we go with the scroll rack again. He's got a fetch land, so he can switch it up. Why would I equip the wolf? I'm trying to block the Amiri Angel with the Fairy Rogue. And you're going to block with a token regardless. <clears throat> oh, because if they somehow block with the Amiri Angel, like... I mean, they're going to block with the token. There's a th there's no way this is getting through, and they're not going to block with the Mirror Angel. So, I mean, my fairy dies if they... Oh, because... Oh, you're right. Yeah, you, you're right. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. I totally forgot about that. You are correct. My god, we're still at the end of the turn? Also, they just die in 10 turns to their Mana Vault. This is true. Someone should seriously help Frank's mom who was trapped in a digital card game. Yeah, you're right about the... Yeah, that wolf play was pretty bad. I am... Also, if they have a way to get rid of this one, we would have had a blocker too, so... That is correct. My secret identity is Lollagy's friend from PT Honolulu. That's fantastic. Oh, man. PT Honolulu was a blast, dude. And it wasn't even because of the, the tournament. Like, I could care less of the tournament. Um, it was definitely because of all the people that was there. That was there? That were there? Oh, they're untapping it. They're trying. Well, they're working on it. Oh, they decided. They decided. They're like, you know what? I don't need that mana after all. I feel like I always get sick after leaving magic events. I think it's just a, a, too high of a concentration of people. Scroll rack main phase. You can tell they're getting they get desperate when they start scroll racking during their main phase because they're like, alright, I need to I need to look one deeper. Noob noob, what's the reference you're not getting? PT Honolulu? No, I think Lolligu he's just a, a friend that I met at Pro Tour Honolulu. A friend of Mark Lolligu. Yeah, there's no there's no big secret there. I just faced off the two of you on Snapchat. Wasn't disappointed. Wow. I would be disappointed because that does not sound okay. We need to see it posted. It's hard because it's Snapchat. So it's probably already deleted. Oh, yeah. He fetched, but I thought he also scroll racked after that on his turn. Yeah, he did. Yeah, so like, and then you just draw a card and you scroll rack again. You're only seeing one deeper. Look, you got a planes and then you got another bird. Two birds, one planes. That's what I always say. Oh no, that's so good. Ugh. Why don't you just take the sword? I don't know. That does seem like it'd be better. It's way better. It kind of like puts him in the driver's seat. Oh, I see. 
Actually, you can't even... Oh, you can. Well, this is not good. This is no bueno. How do they have this many cards? Like, they haven't actually drawn more cards. Wait, why didn't they do the sword? Because then we just give the, this bird... Oh, they're going to kill the wolf, and they're going to kill our mom, so... Yep, I am not thrilled about this. Yep. We're donezo in the bunzo. Kill the mom immediately. Yep. Yeah, Jitte is real hard to deal with. Vindicate? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Use it or lose it. I mean, you gotta... Yeah, you just kill the fairy rogue. God, I wish I had one more mana so that I could play Vanguard and equip. But I do not. Hmm. Well, they have no cards in hand, which is nice. And I'm pretty sure they know what they're getting because of Scroll Rack. The fact that they gave us this is just insane. Yeah, definitely wrong. Three, four, five. We can actually equip the wolf, uh, make their knight attack Gideon, and then like if everybody attacks Gideon, Gideon goes to two. But we have a wolf. And we have to eat a uh, Knight of the White Orchid. So that's pretty okay. And they go to eight? God, they're just basically dead. What up, DJ Fap City? Which is still one of my favorite <laughs> Twitch names. It's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good, all right. It's uh, pretty good, boss. <clears throat> My name is hey, Magabee. Boss. Hey, boss. Was that a little filthy, Frank? Cheers. All right, so look, they're literally swapping the one card they drew with the one card underneath. Do you remember that time that they, in nine turns, they were going to die? From their own mana vault. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. No, they untapped it. It's not yeah, if happen. we had that one, I think that one. See, you can tell how big of a deal uh, attacking with the the fairy token instead of the wolf was because it just uh, we'd have one more fairy and we could have actually equipped that instead to kill the Amira Angel. But Gideon's still at three. It's just a pretty good, huh? They have one card in hand. Oh, well, you're good to go. God, we just make infinite dudes. It's so nice. That's interesting. I don't think that's good. No, nah, right now. It's a not good right now, eh? I mean, they have when they have a Gilded block. Lotus and a Mana Vault. You have a Gilded Lotus and a Mana Vault? Too much. Sure. Eat it up. Yum, yum, eat it up. All right, so you have to attack. Equip you, and we can finally play this Vanguard. My god, I never thought I'd see the day. All right, so now we finally get to eat the Emiria, and we got to play Adanto Vanguard. Two things that I actually didn't think were going to happen in this game. It's on the game. Why do you have to be made? God, I love that they're scroll racking for one. They're just like, I need to see one more card. But the card they're putting back is that they just draw it next turn. So it's just like a really bad top, right? Yes. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to follow or subscribe. Subscribers get access to the sweet subscriber Discord channel, which has been amazing. And uh, there's constantly cool conversations happening in there. 
and they're pretty funny because most of my my chat is oh god oh good draw okay um i don't think what do you have gush i think gush is the only card you can actually cast here council's judgment can't parallax wave timely yeah you can only play a gush which is fine it's that's good actually it's also good when you, well the mirror angel is going to die so i mean also pro blue so i don't care about that dude They can cast Gush. Why can't they cast Gush? I don't see why they couldn't cast a 5-mana instant with the Torrential Gear Hulk. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh my god. Opponent Emrakul the Promise end me when he was at, uh, dead on board and drew Vanguard for the turn for me when I was at 16. Wow, that's so perfect. Because they can just be like, well... Oh, wait. They're going to attack with all of their flyers? Mm-hmm. And they play to land this turn? Yep. Alright, I'll just kill a bird and attack with the fairy rogue. Oh, actually, I could have killed the Amiri Angel. Yeah, that was an interesting choice. Whatever. They also have a million mana, so... Three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, I guess we just win this game. I mean, either way, we could have attacked with Vanguard, put the, put the sword <clears throat> on it. Um... And attack with Fairy Rogue, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Puts him to three where we've drawn. A well, oh, alright. Okay. Okay, boss. Ultimate price seems pretty good. They have a bunch of yeah. uh, single colored guys. Seems great. Great. What else? Do we have any answer for um like Go day of on. judgment wrath of god no wow you didn't even look you just said no because i already know the answer how do you know the answer because i'm a good boy that doesn't even make any sense sure it does does it yeah okay got him did you Sword of Light and Shadow? Well, I would love to put Sword of Light and Shadow in, but we do not have that. I think Ravages seemed poor that game, but I don't want to give up the dream of Ravagesing. <laughs> Ravagesing, he this says. This is a dreamy hand, all right. This is a good hand. Just won a game with a Nicol Bolas killing a Gideon and Ashilari exiling last three cards in Guy's Library. That's pretty gas. Did they just let us play again? This is the second... Weird. That's this is the second weird. game that our opponents would let us play first. That seems incorrect. I agree with you. Do we attack with mom here? How many things can they do? Nah, it's fine. I think you can attack. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think the blue-white deck is going to have that many things on turn two to uh, to deal with us. That's where you're wrong. Oh, no. You're good. Okay. Okay. Now I'm actually going to keep Mom back because turn three is a loss of things, huh? Go ahead, play your land. I dare you. I'm drawn up to a million. One million? Chad Bradbury, I love that you're watching. I love that you're watching the stream and also stre you're also uh, playing your own cubes. It's not that difficult if you have double screens. What'd you say to me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my god, look at... Oh, that didn't even get a land because... That's, that's great. Weird. Wow, that was fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going to go white, black, white. That's so good. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh, hippie. I am a little bit afraid of a next turn Wrath of God. Do we just Vindicate something? Nah. I mean, I guess we could. No, if they Wrath, we just go Hero Blade Hold. Yeah, it's totally fine. It is totally fine. Totes fine, as the kids say. But now that we have Mom, they can't even, like, um, Resto 
and block our hippie. You know what I'm saying? No. Man, scroll rack is like just a more annoying top. You know what I'm saying? You are correct. Do you know what I'm saying? I said you're correct. Is that enough for you? Nothing's enough for me. Gosh. I'm just going to take this. You can't even pay me enough to activate a mom right now. Not even a million dollars? Not even one million stropanies. There it is. The old three for two. So we're going to play. We have six cards. We're going to draw one, go to seven. We're going to play a land and play a thing. So we can actually get two lands. If they do something stupid, we can... Oh, could we have just... No, we can't... We could have mind twisted everything but one. Which might have been better, to be quite honest. Nah. <laughs> Do not mind twist until you get all cards. Oh, I see. Now nah, maybe mind twist. Oh, we're definitely mind twisting now. The problem is they can... Hmm. Hmm. Two cards in hand, huh? One, two, three. I'm pretty sure we actually just play Archangel of Thune here. Six, seven. We're going to draw one, play one. So we go down to one, two, three, four, five. I'll just get one land. The Scully boy. I th is it just Sculler and Vindicate here? Maybe it's Sculler Vindicate. I like that. Me too. That's funny. Guess we take that. That's really funny. That doesn't seem good in their deck. That seems well. They have Mana Vault and Gilded Lotus, Still. and uh, and one Signet. So maybe they're just like, hey, hey. Oh, Stone Silence. That's annoying, but we get we get a that was a good that was a good draw. I got a clue. I mean, we know they have Flooded Strand in hand, which they're probably going to put back with Scroll. You said right? stop tap decking answers to our threats. They are good at that. Oh, there's a Flooded Strand. All right. <coughs> so let's say we play land, we play a guy. That puts us down to four cards. We're going to draw one. We can actually get two more lands here. My God. Look at, these land, look at this land tax value we have going here. So they have no cards in hand. Alright, this game feels over when we have seven cards and they have none. And we have a clue on board, so we actually have eight cards. You know, like you do. Oh, lucky you do. Maybe you do. I do. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, we could O-Ring and Ravages here, actually. That'd be pretty savage. I actually kind of like that. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Got him. Pretty sure this game. <laughs> you think? Even if we just get to keep Tide Hollow Skullar by itself, if they, like, if they top decked an answer for Archangel of Thune... Steals Armageddon. Plays Ravages of War. Oh, we should have actually played Ravages first and played Land after. That's 100% correct. Didn't even think about it. I was just like, well, I need seven lands. Might as well play them all. Oh, God. Torrential Gear Hulk. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, they just they don't have anything, though. 
So there's no way you race Archangel of Thune here with no cards and with yeah, this this is still game over, I think. Yeah, I think we got this. Also, there's very little lands left in our deck. Oh, we won. Doesn't matter. Got him. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't done so, please hit uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the video down below, and I'll see you guys next time.